Hi everyone, Ashley here with Ashley Espinjeri Photography. Today I'm going to do a requested tutorial on how to swap somebody's eyes in Photoshop. So go ahead and open both of your images in Photoshop. This is a photo I took of Joel and I have this image which I'm going to use as the final copy. Obviously he blinked in this one. And then I have this image where he's not blinking but I'm going to take his eyes out of this one and put them on this image. Go ahead and select the photo where you want to take the eyes from. You can also call this the donor photo if you want to. Select your lasso tool which is L on your keyboard and you want to have a feather about 10 pixels and you're going to zoom in so you can see really well and then you want to take a little bit more than you're going to use. I like to take a little bit more than I'm going to use because I can mask it off. And after you made your selection, go ahead and right click in the middle of the selection and go down to layer via copy. And then that's going to make a new layer. And then you can see what you selected by turning the background layer off. Go ahead and drag this photo out. So now you're going to see both photos. You're going to make sure you're selected on the, the donor photo and you're going to take that layer and drag it, hold and drag it to the final photo where you're going to replace the eyes and you can go ahead and minimize that other photo. Now you have the new eyes on the final photo that you're going to go ahead and replace. Go ahead and zoom in so you can see really well and you're going to take the new eyes and you're going to bring that layer down to about 50%. I have 47 just so you can see both of the layers because you want to make sure they're lining up right. And you're going to go ahead and take your move tool and you're going to move them to the right spot. So by the way the move tool is V on your keyboard and you can I'm using the edge of his nose to line him up. Let me actually add a little bit of opacity. I want to see. You can see how his eyebrows aren't quite lined up, so you and you can line those up better. And if you have the move tool selected, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the selected layer. And you can see how the hairs on his eyebrows look out of focus and then once you get them together in the right spot they look like they're not as fuzzy and they're in better focus. So let's go ahead and double check what it looks like. Okay. That looks good. And now what we're going to do, so you can see it moving but don't worry about that. You can Go ahead and make a new layer mask, which is the box with a white circle on it. And it's going to be white, which is good. And you're going to go ahead and select your brush tool, which is B as in Bob on your keyboard. You want to make sure your foreground color is black. And then you're going to make sure your opacity is at 100% and you're going to brush and mask out around his eyes. You can double check. See his nose isn't quite there, but that's okay. You can mask that off. And double check. Oh. You get really precise, and I like to mask most of the stuff off because I just want his eyes. 
And then you can go ahead and zoom out and see the before and after. So this is before and after, before and after. Let us know if you have any questions or if you have any other Photoshop tutorials you would like to see. If you're already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And if not, take a minute to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video.